Hello, Eli. All right, now that you're working, don't worry. Hello, Lydia. Welcome. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. I'm you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for being here. Right. Okay. So do, do you um do you study like do you go do you study somewhere else aside from um from this um I mean aside from here at Inglés Corporativo? If I study another thing. Yeah, if you study something else, yes. Yeah, I am in an university. University, sorry. Oh, nice. What do you what university do you go to? Uh, marketing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, what, but what what the university? Uh, Utec. Oh, nice, nice. So you, you're yeah. uh you're you're like um, getting online classes. Yeah. All right. All right, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Yes. All right. Um, so the like the whole is the whole career online or are you like just No, it's the whole career. I I choose that. You chose that. Career. Yeah. Do you think it's more difficult? Do you, do you find it more difficult or easier? Yeah, it's more it's more difficult. It's very more difficult. difficult. Yeah, for me it's very difficult. Because Why? you uh, you have to read a lot and you don't have a teacher to explain that topics and you have to how do you say Research. you have to yeah for another way to understand the topic and you learn a lot of about it that is that is a good idea a good for because you learn more but it's more difficult wow oh yeah God. it's more difficult that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy so how long have you been studying like that? Uh, this is my first year. That's your first year? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Oh yeah, because you're like uh you're like twenty, right? Huh? You're you are twenty, right? Twenty twenty I think twenty two. I, I am forgot how old you're oh you're eighteen? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, yeah, you're a super young person. All right, very good, okay, very good. What about you, Italia? So Hi, Mr. Study somewhere else, aside from um, Yeah, I'm, I'm actually in the college, and in third grade of the college. You, you what, I'm sorry? In third year. In third year? Is in it? third year. Oh, okay. All right. You're in the in the middle of the semester, you mean? Yeah. All right. Hey, that's Oh, in third year. I'm sorry. You said third. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, that's awesome. And what do you study? I study uh, international relations. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do you like that career? Yeah, I love I love it. You love it? Why do you yeah. love it? Cause you know in, cause you know, you know a little bit about everything, about politics, about geography, about history, about blood, about everything. So that's what I like it. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, that's interesting. That's very interesting. All right, it's yeah. good that you like it because um, I think you know one of the biggest issues that we have um, when we talk about this is um, you know not being able to study or to do something that we like doing, right? So yeah. Then, so then you get you get bored. All right. Yeah, All right. I know. All right, hold on, guys. Let me send a message to. Um, let me send a message to the rest. Hold on. All 
Hold on, guys. It's weird that there's someone who's missing me here. Hold on. You're gonna get a message right now, guys, but this is a broadcast, okay? It's not to you. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Hey, that's that's awesome. Um, so how old are you, Italian? I'm 21. Oh, you're 21. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Right. You're very young, too. Hey, welcome, Miguel. Nice to see you. All right, guys, so we're going to continue where we left off yesterday. All right. Hi. What's up? Hello. Um, how are you doing, man? Fine. You're good? Have some technical issues. To get oh, it's okay. Yeah, I was wondering, you know, why you're not here because you're always early. So if you're not here, there is something big happening, you know? <laughs> All right, man, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad that you're here. So we're gonna continue, guys. With the topic that we left, you know, we left off yesterday. Hey, uh, how old are you, uh, Miguel? Twenty-four, I think. Twenty-four. Are you still studying somewhere else? No. No. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. All right, guys. All right, guys. So let's continue talking about um about glasses guys remember guys to turn on the camera please all right i know i know ellie that you cannot turn it on because you are working right now but the rest guys please do me a favor just turn on the camera so we can be on the same page okay all right so if dali and lady if you can help me with that that'll be great all right good job guys thank you thank you all right so let me share the screen with you guys. All right, so let's see, guys. Okay, real quick, guys. So in order to understand this, guys, we have to understand what a clause is, okay? Um, Miguel, I, I know that I asked you like a thousand times what a clause is, and I know that you know already, you know, by heart what a clause is, right? But uh, Lydia, what is a clause? Why me? Because I'm going to ask everyone. It's not only you. Don't worry. Okay. What is a clause? Let me a little moment. All right. Uh, it's a group of words. Okay. Very good. It's a group of words. It's usually composed by a subject and a verb. Yes? Yeah. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. Now, if you want to join two clauses together, all right, let me share the presentation here. All right. Up. all right guys so uh if we want to join two classes together okay we can use a word that allows you to that allows us to do that right so we're talking about contrast okay italia what is contrast what what do you remember by contrast the negative of something all right the, it's the, the positive sorry <laughs> the opposite right yeah all right, very good. Okay, the opposite side of something. Very good. All right, so that is contrast, right? So some of the some of the um, some words, guys, or some phrases that you can use in, that that you can use in order to talk about contrast are while and like in contrast too. Okay. All right. Now, yesterday we talked about contrast. Okay, so let's talk about exception now. Okay, what is an exception? Uh, what do you think an exception is, Miguel? When something is not like the rest. Okay, when something's not like the rest, right? Very good. Who's missing, guys, that was here yesterday that is not here today? I think it's the same people, right? Very good. All right, very good, guys. Never mind that. Never mind. All right, guys. All right, an exception, guys. Uh... An exception is, uh, I'm sorry, what is it, Miguel? When something is not like the rest. Very good. Okay. Hey, good explanation. 
I could I couldn't have come come up with that answer like that myself. Very good job. All right. When something is not like the rest, guys. Okay. When something when something is kind of um, we can say unique. All right. So good job, Miguel. Very good job. All right. So let's take a look at the first example. Um, Idalia, help me read the first example. Um, that starts Which with one? both. This one right here. Okay. Both like TV. It said the typical Japanese person what what is more of it. Okay, very good. Okay, both like TV except the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Okay. All right, notice something, guys. Okay, what is telling us here? Okay, what what is telling us here? What connector are we using for telling us that there is uh there is a contrast here? It's in bold letters, guys, in bold font. What is it, guys? <laughs> Idalia, what is it? It said? Accept, okay, accept that, okay. What is it, guys? It said. Accept that, okay, very good. Now, okay. another word that we can substitute except, except that, guys, is? All right, instead of saying accept that, we can say save for. All right, did you know that you can use these guys for for uh, exceptions too? All right, so instead of saying, write it down in your notebook, guys, okay, right. So instead of saying accept that, you can say save for. It means exactly the same, guys. You're, mean, you're saying, an, uh, you're talking about an exception here. All right, very good. All right, so both liked that uh, both like the TV, except the typical Japanese person watches more of it. So let's think, let's, let's think about this, guys. Okay, what is the exception here, guys? That. Okay, very good. What, what is the clause that is telling us about the exception? Uh -huh. The typical Japanese person watches more of it. Okay, very good. The typical Japanese person watches more of it, right? All right, very good. So the second clause, guys, okay, remember this one right here. Okay, this one right here is a clause, right? It's telling us that um, that there is a certain group of people that watches more television, okay? More typical Japanese, I mean, more, more, um, uh, more television than the rest of what whoever or whatever we're talking about, okay? All right, what about the second example, Miguel? Italian and Japanese people are fairly different, except for the age they get married. Very good job, okay? All right, so is the first clause, guys? First of all, where's the first clause? Uh, Lydia, where do you see the first clause here? Italian and Japanese people are Fairly different. Fairly different. Very good. Okay. That is the first clause. Okay. Now, in which clause I uh, what clause is telling us about um about exception? The age they get married. Very good. Except for the age they get married. How can we substitute in what other way get what, what other phrase can we use, Idalia, in order to substitute except for? Huh? Save for. Yes. Save so, for. Save. Okay. Very good. Okay. So we say save for. Okay. Give me one quick second, guys. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. Do me a favor, guys. Okay. Now that we talked about. Now that we talk about contrast, okay. Do me a favor, and let's send one example, guys, with one with each of the words, while, unlike, and in contrast too. Okay. All right. All right, so send me an example, guys. Send an example, and uh, let's check it together, okay? All right, let's go. Send an example in the chat room.
All right. Meanwhile, all right, Miguel, give me an example here, and we're gonna analyze it together. Okay. For what? For which one? Uh, for contrast. For contrast. Yes. Mm, let's see. Unlike Japanese comics, Western comics right now are going downhill. Very good. Unlike Japanese, Japanese comics. All right. Now, do we need a coma or or no? Or not? I think yes. All right. Don't. All right. Remember, I think so. Right. All right. I think yes. Mm -hmm. Doesn't exist, it's, okay? I think it's so. It's not uh, right, the right way to say yeah, yes. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> unlike Japanese comics, right? Uh, what was the rest? I'm sorry. Western comics are going downhill. Very right good now. job, okay? All right. Western comics are going downhill. Very good, man, all right? Uh, very good vocabulary, too. All right, I like that. All right, so unlike Japanese comics, Western comics are going downhill, all right? Now, can I say, guys, can I say Western comics are going downhill unlike Japanese uh, comics? Can I say this, uh, Lydia? I don't know. All right. Okay. That's okay. That's an honest answer. What about, uh, what do you think, Italia? Can I say this? Is it the same? Western comics are going downhill unlike Japanese comics? Uh, for me, it's the same. Very good. It is the same, guys. And yes, you can say it, okay? Not with all the examples, okay? Not with all of them, but you can say it, okay? Can I say the typical Japanese person doesn't, um, doesn't think school is boring while the typical Italian, Italian person does? Can I say this? Take a look at the first example, right? That says why the typical Italian person thinks school is boring, the typical Japanese person doesn't. So now let me ask you something there. All right, can I say the other way around, guys? How would you how would you say the other way around? Um, Miguel, how would you say the other way around? I'm thinking back, let's see. The typical Japanese person doesn't think that school boring. It's boring. While an Italian people or an Italian person thinks school is boring. Okay, the typical Japanese person doesn't think, right? Doesn't think school is boring. While the typical Italian person does, okay? All right, so you're going to have to add does at the end because that's how you show agreement, all right? Very good. All right, so yes, guys, you can change position, all right? But we're not going to use a comma if that's the case, all right? All right, very good. All right, is that is this part clear, guys? Clear? Italia? Lydia? All right, do you need another example, Lydia or Italia? Or Miguel? Can you give another example, please? Yes, absolutely. Actually, we're going to take one of your examples. All right. Idalia said, all students don't worry about being in classes. Safe for us, okay? All right, in class, okay? It's not classes, guys. You, you don't actually use plural, but uh, good job. So all students, all right, so this is Idalia, right? All students don't worry about being in class. Safe for us, okay? Very good, guys. So, what do you think? Is this um, is this an exception, guys? Yes or not? Yes. Very good job. So, I right, take a look at this, Lydia. Okay, I was actually asking you for an example of the of contrast, but you're gonna you're gonna send it. Okay, don't worry. Keep sending the examples, guys, of contrast. Okay, I need three examples of contrast and three examples of exception. All right. Now, uh, Idalia is absolutely right. Okay. Good job, Idalia. All right, very good. Lydia, Lydia te va a comprar pollo campero, all right, for that amazing job. Okay, good job. Applause for Italia, guys. All right, good job, Italia. Uh, Italia. All right, 
Um, very good job. You're showing exception, so that's it, right? Um, let's see. I need more examples from you. Let's see, Lydia. All right, let's, unlike my brother, All right, so let's read this, Miguel. Like my brother, I see TV a lot. Very good job. Okay, now um, let me ask you, Idalia, Miguel. Um, uh, Ellie's yeah. working, so I don't ask her, guys, if you're wondering why. Um, so let me ask you something, guys. So in this example, unlike my brother, I see a lot of TV. Are we showing contrast? Are we, first of all, my question, are we showing contrast, yes or not? Are we showing a, an exception or contrast? What do you think, Idalia? Are we showing it, first of all, are we showing an exception or a contrast? Um, a contrast. Very good job, it is a contrast, right? Very good job, okay. okay. All right, uh, that was perfect, good job, Lydia. All right, uh, let's see, she says, in contrast, in contrast, father's family. My father is very funny. Okay, uh, we're missing something there. In this in this sentence, Lydia, we're missing something. All right, I will write it down here, guys, and you tell me what we're missing here. Okay, so if I say in contrast, father's family. In contrast, in contrast to. My father, okay, very good. Okay, you got it. Okay, you got it, perfect. My father is very funny okay all right in contrast to now notice something here guys okay the possessive okay it says father's emily all right basically you're saying it's emily father emily. exactly right emily's father all right like that okay remember the owner right whoever is you know whoever is the one possessing the other noun it goes at the end okay it doesn't go at the beginning emily's father okay in contrast to emily's father my father is very funny good job good job all right plus for lydia guys good job lydia good all right miguel send me your examples uh idalia i need three examples from um i need three examples from contrast okay all right let's go yeah ellie well you're working but if you can't do it let's do it too all right so send me three examples guys Right.
All right. Very good, guys. So, all right. Let's take a look at uh, Idalia. Uh, while I'm here taking class, my sister is out with her friends. <laughs> is that true, Idalia? All right. In contrast to my mom, I love tattoos. Very good job, okay? All right, so these two examples, guys, are perfect, okay? Very well done, all right? All right, hold on. Okay, let me just paste them in here, guys, okay? All right, so this is what Idali said, guys. While I'm here taking class, my sister is out with her friends. All right, very good. Um, so, Miguel, what do you think? Do we have, uh, is this correct? Is everything good? Teacher Miguel? Let's see, go on here. Yeah, it's sort of contrasting, I think. All right, sort of, or is it contrasting? It is contrasting, man, right? While contrast. I'm here taking class, right, taking my class, my sister is out with her friends, okay? Very good. So what is the contrast here? Okay, that Idalia, all right, Italia doesn't want to be That's here. <laughs> Italia want to be out <laughs> drinking. Right? That is the contrast. I want to be here. That's what I'm here. It, it's okay. It's okay. You can you can bring your you can bring your beers. Don't worry, Italia. You can bring your beers. Right? <laughs> I'm kidding. Right? Very good, Italia. I'm kidding. All right. Um, in contrast to my mom, I love tattoos. Is that true? You love tattoos? No, I don't love tattoos. Oh, it was just an example. Yeah, it was just an example. <laughs> all right. Um, unlike my dad, okay, let's take a look at the other one, all right? Unlike my dad, my mom does more exercise than him. Okay, very good, all right? Um, those are perfect examples, Italian. Good job. You won El Pollo Campero de Lidia, right? Very good. Uh, Alitas. <laughs> Alitas. Like some chicken wings. All right. Um... Let's see, Miguel, in contrast to how it was years ago, nowadays developing games could be considered relatively easy. All right. You're very, you're a very complex human being, Miguel. But it was a good example. All right, check this out, guys, okay? Miguel is like a book, right, with a lot of vocabulary. All right. Um, very good job. Very professional. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you teacher, me, uh, teacher Bolaños from now on. Very good. Okay, lots, uh, a lot of vocabulary here, and uh, the structure is absolutely perfect. All right. Um, second example that Miguel gave us. All right. Let's go, Idalia. All right. Help me read, and let's determine if we have any any mistakes or not. Okay, things that we need to correct or not. Is that in the second one? Yes. Unlike, unlike most. I don't know how to say that word. Unlike most sci-fi novels, everybody repeat, okay? Unlike most sci-fi novels. Unlike most sci-fi novels. Uh huh. Douglas Adams, hit seekers, yeah. Uh, hit it hit, hit. I think that's pronounced hitchhikers or hitchhikers. Okay. It's mostly comedy. <laughs> How do you pronounce it, Miguel? Hitchhikers, I think. Oh, Last... hitch... oh hitchhikers. Not, not... Hitchhikers. Yes, yeah. okay, so it's like this. Hitchhikers, yeah. okay. Unlike most... Oh, sci fi sci I don't... Oh, oh, I don't... Repeat again. Everybody, everybody, yeah, okay. Uh... All right, repeat guys. sci-fi. Oh, sci-fi. Unlike most sci-fi novels, Douglas Adams, hitchhikers, guy, the galaxy is mostly comedy. I missed the niche. Yep. Okay, very good. All right, so um, unlike most sci-fi novels, Douglas Adams' Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy is mostly comedy, right? That That is absolutely perfect. Very, um, again, very complicated, man, but good job. <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. All right, uh, the last example from Miguel. All right, Miguel. All right, Lydia, help me read.
Teacher. <laughs> Tell me. How do you say that word seem or oh, that? Everything? Repeat no. everything. No. Will, while everything and that's the, the word. While everything seemed. Seem. Okay. Why everything seemed like I like it would belong in a horror setting. The man wasn't scary the least. The man wasn't scary the least. Okay. Very good job. All right. I think N would have been an A or no. We, uh, the in a horror setting. No. Uh, in A. Yeah, it's in A, guys. Yep. All right. Uh, question, guys. Quick question. Why is it why is it I instead of N, guys? Why is the article I instead of N? Yeah. Okay, very good, guys. It's because of the sound, guys. Okay, the sound is um it's actually um a consonant sound, okay? All right. So a horror movie. You don't say a horror movie, right? You say a horror movie. All right, good job, guys. So plus for you guys, beautifully done. All right, beautiful, 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 all right? All right, so let's continue moving on, guys, okay? All right, so the conjunctions, guys, okay, the words that we're talking about are called conjunct conjunctions. How do we call them? Conjunctions. Conjunctions. How do we call them, guys? Everybody, how do we call them? Conjunctions. We call them conjunctions, right? Yes. Very good. All right, now, what is a conjunction? What, what do we understand by a conjunction? Do, do, do you guys know what a bridge is? Do you know what a bridge is? Conjunctions are bridge bridges between bridge between classes. Yes. Hey, have you considered becoming a, a writer, Miguel? Yes, I have. You should. You should. <laughs> you should. I think I think that you're that smart, man. I think that you are smart enough to become a writer. All right. This this is a bad bridge because all right, the edges here should be like. Ending over here, all right. Very good, guys. All right, guys. So, uh, is this understandable that this is a bridge? <laughs> yes. Right. So, guys, what if you want to cross from? Okay, what if we want to cross, guys, from one point to the other? So we got point A here, and we got point B here. Okay. So I want to cross from one side to the other. Okay. So here, guys. Okay. Uh, our friend, how do we call them? Um. You? Bill, okay. All right, Biloberto. All right, so Biloberto, guys. All right, so he want to cross to he wants to cross to the other side of the bridge, okay? So these right, these right here, we're gonna call this, okay? This is gonna be a clause, right? And on the other side of the bridge, guys, we're gonna have another clause, okay? All right, we're gonna have Toxica Berta here, okay? All right, very good. So we're gonna have Toxic Aberta here, guys, okay? All right, so if you wanna join them together, guys, we have to have a, how do we call this? Idalia, how do we call this? A conjunction. A conjunction, okay, we have to have a bridge, right? So in this case, guys, that will be the conjunction, all right? Uh, hold on. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm writing with a mouse, guys, okay? So, excuse my my handwriting. <laughs> I can understand how it feels to write with a mouse. Yeah, but I'm not that bad, right? Yeah. I think so. Actually, I, I actually write worse with my bare hands, guys, <laughs> than this. You know, with a pen, I should write, write, write worse with a pen than this. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Okay, so we need a conjunction, okay? So, is this part clear, guys? Yes? All right, so now what are the, I mean, there are more words, guys, that we can utilize as, as a conjunction. However, the ones that we're going to learn today are, all right, while, unlike, and in contrast to. Now, let me ask you something, guys. Do they have the same meaning? What do we use while, unlike, and in contrast to for, guys? Lydia, what do we use those, those conjunctions for? These conjunctions, why do we use? Mm -hmm. why, why do we use them for? Uh, to, to, I that word, to, uh, to say the opposite of one thing. 
Very good. Okay, contrast, right? <laughs> like you got it. Yeah, good. <laughs> uh, it's not a positive. It's uh, the opposite. Okay. All right, just the opposite. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. Very good. All right. Is this clear as water, guys, or clear as tequila, or clear as coffee, or clear as milk? What do you think, Miguel? Clear, clear. Clear, Lydia. Oh, you need, if you need more examples, let's go ahead and give more examples. No, I am clear. You're clear, Idalia? Got it. All right, very good, all right? Uh, if since this is a small class, guys, I think we should take advantage of it, you know? You know how we can make this more positive? You can, this can be more personalized. Like, you can actually ask me, I can answer all of your questions, because we have time, right? We have time for answering all of your questions, right? So. If something is not clear, just, just, you know, just let me know, all right? So, uh, we show contrast, guys, between the information in two clauses. Just remember the bridge, guys, okay? We have one clause on one side, we have one clause on the other side. We're gonna join them together, all right, to, um, to contrast them, okay? All right, help me read, um, Miguel. In contrast to most Americans, people here usually live with their parents until they that are married. All right, now let's do a quick exercise, guys. And uh, Idalia, answer me this. Can I say, can I say while here? Oops, hold on, let me switch the color. All right, can I say, instead of contrast, can I say, oh my God, can I say while? I'm trying to find a color, guys, that is not so flashy. Not, All right. Not that contrasting with the background. All right. Well, this contrasts with the background. All right. So can I say, guys, uh, while most Americans, instead of in contrast to, what do you think, uh, Idalia? No, you cannot say like that. Very good job. We cannot say like this, guys. Okay. But is there a way, guys, that we can say the same idea, that we can portray the same idea uh, while using while? Yeah, you can say it, but you, you need to complete the sentence. Very good, okay, so it needs to be different, okay? So how, yeah. so how different should it be? So give me an example. While most Americans All right, let's, let's work on this all together, guys, okay? Let's all work on this. Idalia, Miguel, you can participate too. While most Americans live on their own before marriage. Very good, live on their own before marriage. Okay, uh-huh. People here usually live with their parents until they are married. People here usually live with their parents until they are married, right? Very good, guys, okay? All right, is this true in El Salvador, by the way, guys? Is this, is this true in El Salvador? Do we live with our moms until we're married? In some cases, and in some cases, it's, it's not. It's in some cases, okay? All right. Very good. All right. So, uh, very good job, guys. Very good. All right. So, is this sentence correct, uh, Lydia? What do you think? I think that it's correct. It's the same sentence, but the difference is the conjunctions. Okay. All right. Until, unless, um, you mean conjunctions? Yeah, right. that word. All right, repeat, conjunction. Conjunctions. No, it's, all right, let, let me break it down for you, okay? Everybody, okay, repeat. Con. Con. Everybody repeat, con. Con. Junk. Junk. Junctions. Like this, like this, conjunct and then shun, okay? Junction. Right, conjunction, all right? You read like that. All right, guys, so that was a good example, okay? While, the, while most Americans live on their own before the marriage, people here usually live with their parents until they are married, okay? So notice the difference, guys. Notice the difference between 
the, the, the two clauses, the two clauses that we got here, right? So if you say, guys, well, most Americans live on their own before, before I mean, uh, before marriage, what is, what is the biggest difference, guys? What do you notice here? The meaning of the conjunction. Um, your mic is off. All right. So, uh, so my question to you is, guys. Okay. So we 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 determined that we can use uh, we can use the conjunction while, and we actually can talk about the same idea, but we have to change the whole clause. So, what do you notice that it's different here than um, than in the first example that we got? Miguel? Well, the meaning change in contrast means, well, it really, it literally says it's a contrasting idea, but well, it means basically that both things happen at the same time, sort of. Okay. All right. So, uh, Idale, do you remember, do you remember what, um, uh, what a dependent or an, an independent clause is? Kind of. Independent? Oh, no. Or. I think Miguel got the idea. I think Miguel got it. All right. I right, know, but, but continue, continue, Dali. What is it? No, no, I think, I think, I think Miguel, <laughs> since I mentioned. Since I mentioned the dependent and, and independent clause, guys, uh, Miguel, I think that I think Miguel got the idea after that. So, so Idalia, all right, try try to. Uh, I know that you know. I right, don't worry. Okay. Whatever, whatever you remember, whatever you remember, all right, bring it up. I didn't listen to what Miguel was saying, but I think that is when uh, a depend. Uh, what do you say? A dependent. A or independent clause? A dependent clause is when you're saying a sentence and you need to to use uh no, I don't know. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. Continue, right? You're you're going on the right path. Okay. When you're saying some when you're saying something and but you have to to add like another thing, I, I don't know. You're, um, okay, you're you're close. You're very close, huh? That's independent, and um, a so, dependent okay, so clause. So when you have to add, when you have to add information, or we when you don't you don't, or when you don't have to add information. Uh, independent clause is when you have when you have to add more information, and, and that's, when you that's have independent. to add. Yeah, for 100 me. One hundred percent sure. <laughs> Yeah. You want to you use your wild card and, and call your parents to ask them for the answer? <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't know anything about English, so. <laughs> it's right. All right. Uh, okay, you're on the right path, but it's actually the other way around. All right. Miguel, explain to us okay. how, what, what is the right way of, um, um, you know, well, what, what's, what's actually a dependent versus independent, an independent clause. A dependent clause? is when uh, the sentence itself doesn't work, well, when it doesn't work on its own and it needs uh, another sentence to be a complete idea. Very good, that's a dependent clause, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And an independent one, independent one is when the sentence works on its own. It's a complete idea and doesn't need anything extra. Very good, good job, plus Miguel guys. Good job, teacher Bolaños. Good job, man. All right, very good. All right, Lydia, did we get did we get the difference between them both? 
Can you repeat? I don't know, but I don't hear you well. All right, all right. Repeat it once, once again, Miguel. A dependent one is not a complete idea on its own, and an independent one is a complete idea on its own. All right, very good, guys. With that being said, guys, okay? All right, good job. Hey, Miguel, you, you're very smart, man. You're, you're a very smart individual. All right. Um, so, guys, with that being said, let me ask you something. All right, taking a look at both examples, guys. I should have changed the uh, the font. All right, sorry, I cannot change the font for some reason. Okay, guys, so taking a look at both examples, guys, let me ask you something. We're using a contrast, okay? Now, take a look at this. Uh, most Americans, let me ask you this. In parts of speech, guys, in grammar, what is most Americans? It is a noun, yes? Yes, guys? Now, is this... And is this a contrast to most Americans? Is that, is that a dependent or independent clause, uh, Lydia? Mm, I am not sure. All right, very good. Uh, Idalia, all right. Uh, Miguel explained to us what the difference is. So is that a dependent or independent clause? Independent. All right, it's, a, it's an independent, you said, or dependent? No, independent clause. Oh, so we don't need more information to be. Dependent, dependent, dependent. All right, it is a dependent clause, right? Very good, right? Yeah. Very good, okay? Uh, yeah. All right, it is a dependent clause, guys, okay? Very good. Now, take a look at the other example. Uh, most Americans, like this, most Americans live on their own before marriage. Is that a dependent or independent clause? Independent clause. All right, do you see what the difference is now, guys? All right, do you see, Miguel? The idea right. is complete. Very good, the idea is complete. However, all right, so while you will need a complete, uh, so we use, if we use while, you will need an independent clause, right? And when using contracts, okay, you mostly need a, um, uh, a dependent clause, all right? So that is the difference. But now, another question, all right? Do they mean the same, guys? If I say, uh, in contrast to most Americans, people here usually live with their parents until they're married. Uh, is it the same as saying, while well, most Americans live on their own before marriage, people here usually live with their parents until they're married? Is that the same? Kind of. Okay, very good. All right, it is, it is the same, guys. Okay, we're talking about the same idea, right? All right, is that clear, guys? Clear as tequila? Clear as water. <laughs> Water. All right, very good. Okay, maybe Lydia clear as tequila. No. Yeah, it's All right. clear. All right, very good. All right, guys. Any questions, guys? Any questions here? All right. Now the same thing happens, guys, for uh, conjunctions. Okay, I mean for for exceptions. All right. All right. So these are the conjunctions, guys, that we can use for exceptions. Except that, except for, except for the fact that. Okay. What are they, guys? Guys, what are the, the conjunctions that we can use for exceptions? Except that, except for, except for the fact that, and say for. Very good, okay. All right, there are way more, guys, but for, for now, we're going to focus on these guys, okay? All right, so these conjunctions show exceptions, right? You already gave me examples, guys, so we're not going to go through them, um, but take a look at this. Help me read the first example, uh, Idalia. He's very rich, but he isn't happy. He's very rich, but he isn't happy, okay? All right, so what is the contrast here, guys? That is, he uh -huh. is not happy. Okay, that he's, okay, that although, you know, the contrast is that although he's very rich, he isn't happy, you know, that doesn't make him happy, right? Right? So let me ask you something, uh, Lydia. Would you like to be rich and and uh, and and sad, or be poor and happy? Um, be happy. 
All right, so you would like to be poor and happy instead of being rich and sad. Yeah, I prefer to be poor and happy. All right, very good, okay. All right, what about you, uh, Miguel? Well, well, money doesn't buy happiness. It does buy chocolate, and that's <laughs> very, very close to it. All right. What about you, Dalia? What do you think? <laughs> I prefer <laughs> to, ah. be, to be rich and fat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honestly, 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 you know, honesty is good. Okay, no. well, why, why would you prefer? How can you? How can you be sad if you? If you can buy anything, if you can go anywhere, if I, I don't know how can you be sad. <laughs> Ooh, you cannot. So I prefer to be rich. No, but but you have those options. So you have you have to be like sad and rich or or poor and happy, right? Okay. So we're still rich. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right, you're gonna be crying with money, like you know, crying over money, right? Very good, very good, AI. All right, uh, so uh, he's very rich, but he isn't happy. Okay, so the contrast is, guys, that although he's very rich, he's not, he's not really happy, right? Now, notice that we're using although, guys. I actually just use it, guys, because I say although he's very rich, he's not happy, okay? So notice how we can interchange the conjunctions, okay? All right, so notice this here, okay? In spite of, right, despite, right? So these are other type of uh, conjunctions, guys, by the way, all right? Um, but notice that we, how we can interchange them, right? So uh, next example, with that, it helped me read. Although, although he's very rich, he isn't happy. Okay, although he's very rich, he isn't happy, okay? All right, now those are other conjunctions that we can use, but we can say, for example, he's very rich, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this is contrast, guys, okay? All right, I'm sorry, this is contrast. All right, let's go with exceptions, okay? So for example, with exceptions, guys, we can say something like, um, let's see, actually, you give me an example. Um, Miguel, give me one example with exception. A new example, not the ones that you sent me already. Actually, I can think of one right now. All right. Uh, Lydia. Yes. All right. Give me give me one example with exception. All right. Let's use the conjunction for exception. Uh, let me think. All right. You, you guys, you can use it for literally anything. Uh, all people are allowed to come to my house except for Cheyenne. All right, got it? All right, so we can say this, right? Very good, all right? Very good. So, uh, is this an exception, guys? Yeah. Very good, yeah. okay. Now, notice, notice something, guys. If we're using except for, guys, okay, in this case, we're using the plus a noun, okay? All right, just be careful with that. All right, now let's try to use except to, all right? So can we say um, everybody, we can say everybody received the invitation for my party except, I, actually, I'm sorry, uh, I sent the invitation to my party to everyone except to you or for you guys. All right. In this case, guys, since we're talking about, since we're talking about sending something, guys, okay, from someone to someone, okay, we say except to you, okay? I sent the invitation to my party to everyone except to you. Got it? Do you understand why are we using two instead of instead of uh, four? All right. So if something is gonna travel, guys, okay, the the preposition that you have to use is two. All right. Very good, guys. All right. Um, is this clear, guys? Any questions so far? 
All right. So tomorrow, guys, we're gonna practice. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, get you some practice. We're actually gonna practice this question. We don't have time to practice that anymore. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Before we come to class tomorrow, I need you to do the knowledge check. All right. Let me bring it up over here. Let me bring it up here. Hold on. All right, so you're going to uh, work on the knowledge check 1.2, okay? So before the class tomorrow, guys, I need you to send me a screenshot of the completion of the exercise 1.2. Now, one thing, guys, that, I, that I'd like you to, um, to do as well, please uh, finish the – please do – please. <laughs> please do the platform um, along with me, okay? Finish the platform along with me. So basically, if we, we, we are in 1.2, just leave your work there in 1.2, okay? So before the class tomorrow, what do we have to do, Lydia? We have to finish the knowledge check. Very good. The knowledge check 1.2, okay? And what else do you have to do, Idalia? You have to send me what? To the WhatsApp group. The screen. Very good. You have to send me a screenshot, right? Uh, the screenshot can be, guys like this, go to progress, right? And take a screenshot of the progress, okay? I just wanna see that that the knowledge check 1.2 has been completed. Or you can say send a screenshot of this, guys, okay? If you have any questions here, guys, okay, let me know and uh, we'll go through the answers tomorrow. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Lydia and Idalia for joining. Uh, tell me, Idalia, tell me. I wanted to tell you something that I won't be able to be here in class tomorrow because I have a test at 7 p.m. and it takes two hours. Oh, to... okay. I, I completely understand. Uh, do me a favor. Just because of the tennis, uh, can you connect your cell phone or any other device? Just, you know, Lydia, for example, she's working, right? So she couldn't participate today, but she connected her cell phone. Is it possible for you to do something like that tomorrow? Maybe and can... not say... Yeah, you don't, you don't need to participate. You don't need to participate. No. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Just because of the tennis. Would that be okay? Okay. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Love you all, guys. All right. Go uh, eat something or go to sleep, whatever you have to do right now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, we do have a class tomorrow, okay? All right. Remember that. Okay. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice night. You too, guys. Good night.